trafficking. If you did, we would not have this father suicides. If you did, we would not have this failure in kind of any kind of meaningful uh, existence of a family. You know, we you are just a damn failure. And we had enough of you and you will get the hell off the bench. This is the end of justice as we know it. This is the end of superior court of justice. You will go. Look at look at the case of this uh, Meng. The case of what this is this, uh, this Miss Kathy Meng. You know of uh, Jave. That was a, not a debacle. Sleeping on your hands. First of all, you should have validated the request from FBI. You did not. You was just like a brown nosing nothingness. You did not even check the foundation of the evidence presented to you. You did not do anything. You just went over there and played into Trump's little private games of of of. of of uh, uh, using abusing the powers of the FBI to 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 intercept this woman over here on Canadian soil and arrest her and put her in freaking jail and create this big World War Three and then keep on dicking around, playing around, dicking around, playing around, dicking around, playing around. What are the games you playing? Pinning the tail on the elephant. Pinning the tail on the elephant. That's what you've been playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. Pinning the tail on the elephant. Let's play pinning the tail on the elephant, sir. Now you, you don't understand. We are talking about juicy, little pity, pity, pity. You so. And the other thing that you think is, uh, you have to play legal gambits over here, or you have to be like the open sesame. You have to say the right word, the right thing, and only then the blind lady will be able to pin the tail on the elephant's ass. Otherwise, she's going to pin it on your face and she's going to call that justice. You know, this whole paradigm, this whole pushing of justice is blind is a crack because it's not, you know, that, that supposed lady is blind. Yeah, and your blindness is stinks, ma'am. Your blindness is like stupidity. You are incompetent. You are a failure. You are like a hate monger. You are better off going and being like a destitute beggar on the street asking for you know tips because you do not know anything about justice because we can't we're going to have like smart justice you know we're going to have real-time justice we're going to have like you know the jail nine protocol the jail line protocol will be like real time justice, which will, will, yeah, and Google, you know, you SOB Google, you will be sponsoring a company because we need money. We need money to do this, and you own Tipco, don't you? You own Tipco, this is owned by Google. Yeah, you buy it for a few billion bucks because you don't know what to do and you want to buy up everything. So we are going to use it to create a new platform of real-time smart justice. We're going to have like real justice in the real best interest of the child. We're going to have justice without bias. We're going to have justice without your hateful sons of, which is like Donna you. We're going to have, you know, this woman, they have destroyed men's lives. Why? Just because of your sexuality. Just because you're male, you're going to be destroyed. You know, and this one, he is a friend of, he's a friend of Donahue. Just because my material talks about Donahue and his failures, this man is supposed to claim bias. He, he's like explicitly has said he is in conflict with my case. Yet he has specifically marked my file five times. You know, he has marked my file. Five times, okay. Like what he's, uh, what's his like uh, his game? He says, "Do not put in. Do not bring uh, 
Yeah, this is what's written on my file. Do not bring in front of Don and you, you put like a big square, you put a like a big square thing like, you know, so that every judge that ever sees the endorsement, you know, this man has marked my endorsement five times. He, he has taken it upon himself. You know, he is in, in collusion with this, this, this guy, this, uh, this carry. Yeah, like even my civil case, my civil case, he has come on. He has made carry take leave and he has come on on it and he's put in the block letters. Do not bring in front of Donahue. The conflict with Donahue, but yet this file has gone in front of Donahue like five times. And he has marked my file five times. He has created implicit and explicit bias on my file five times. And yet off the bench, he is at the kitchen table with the opposing party. He is at the kitchen table with the opposing party's mother. He has helped, he is like a bum chum to the opposing party's mother. He, father, they are, bo they are both like go back to Ireland. They are both like money launderers. They are both swindlers. They are both like haters. They are both like a projectors of this Irish junta, this, you know, this, this, this failure. These are the insidious enemies of Ireland itself. And uh, they play this game, you know. It's like uh, we'll mark it and we'll say like, "Do not put in front of Justice Donning you." Yeah, and he himself like again. It's on the record. It's on the record. It's saying it's an embarrassment that this file is in front of me, you know. And this the other person this calls calls uh, this Justice Donning you. She calls him Joe right in front of everybody. Like everybody, the whole court is Joe. And uh, he talks about oh, how I love like date squares and all kind of crap. And same with this carry, you know. Instead of focusing on my case, instead of focusing on what is the docket, instead of like saying, he tells me, you will never see your children again. Even though this, this son Mark Gunn, this son of a bitch, what's his name? Mark Simpson has failed. He has failed to put forth any kind of bring forth any kind of material yet he has won that motion even without putting forth any kind of material because why because justice carry refuses to to have like a con con contempt hearing you if you are related if you have the uh, the the blessings of justice done you then you can uh, do any damn thing over here Now this guy is talking about who oh, he's talking to who this other prick you know what's the name Donald Donald Elliot yeah he's again senior counsel who has been humping the system yeah he's like the money launderer for everybody Donald Elliot I call him the Donald idiot you know the hater the sociopath. He's supposed to be the negotiator. I am the negotiator. Yeah, my friend, it's time for you to negotiate the perils of life because they are coming knocking at your door. So, Justice Carey is right on the bench. Okay, you go and you 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 refer to uh, the past records. He will see that Justice Carey is talking about. How, what a good, fable speech Donald Elliot has given uh, Donahue for his fable party. Yeah, right? And uh, how much, what a wonderful uh, eulogy and fable speech that you have made for, for uh, Dr. Donahue. And he is the justice presiding over my papers where I am claiming that Justice Donahue has purposely dicked around with my file. You have destroyed our lives. You have destroyed the lives of my children. You have taken the life of my children, of my, of my, of my mother. And, and uh, yeah, and, and, and even though you have submitted no paperwork, you have done nothing, you have just, wow, got away with it, you know, and then we call it justice tranquility. Where's tranquility? You know, yeah, that's like the wrong name, I would say, sir, ma'am. You know, you should be like a, 
uh, justice like a failure or justice brown nose brown nozo yeah that would be like a better name you know not justice tranquility she claims that we are supposed to do what is in the best interest of the child by suspending my access to my children on the what basis you know the 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 you is like a dunce you is your order is is an abomination 100% you are an abomination you are nothing but a brown nosing a relic of the past you are like you know again I, you 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 are just yes thing to follow the orders of justice justice disorderly about the same follow the path of justice disorderly yeah you are the same like a thing of following like a things of donning you of carry of all those people you are just a continuation of that hate of that agenda of that uh, catholic agenda you know the catholic agenda you are pushing it you are, are the continuation of the 60s scoop you are the continuation of the residential school system now the children's aid society that's a whole another bag that's a, i'm going to dedicate another video to that failure of that system the children's aid society is the reason why we have the overdose crisis the children's aid society is facilitating you know you can they talk about me feeding uh, my children rotten potatoes that's like a crock of shit when i'm the best cook in the world you know i i can cook your mama while if you look at refer the children's aid society notes the uh, past notes you'll talk about my children about all the good and wonderful fantastic things that i cook for my children and yet over here you have this claims that i'm feeding my children brown potato uh, broughten potatoes and that son mud son of a son of a satan yeah son of a satan simpson mark anthony simpson you know he keeps on be talking about me feeding my children rotten potatoes 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 that's about it and frankly you have ordered a suspension of things and now without merit or without any kind of discretion or without any kind of understanding about what is the best interest of the child you have created parental alienation you have you have promoted patient to the isolation the curse of god is upon all of you like all of you the curse of god is on you because you have failed you have failed society you have failed the children you have made children into destitutes you have made children into prostitutes you have failed children children into all this crisis you are a failure crisis of crisis of failure of society the the children's aid society did not order a change in access and you had no right you had no gumption your orders bullshit your order is a abomination from god man child and from everything that is can be claimed in the sake of things of justice and same with you miss uh, what's your name good man this is this is what i'm talking about i have been in front of almost every single justice in this jurisdiction right from that bald headed shiny toot uh, bruce uh, thomas you know bruce thomas you know your you, your your justice is again putrid sir because you okay let's get back to goodman a goodman i brought for the contempt motion you know like a uh, justice uh, what's his name riker he uh, he was uh, you all all know that this woman is in contempt of parental alienation you all know that the superior court of justice order was not able to i have a order i have a right to my children but the police they are unable to exercise the order no but they'll send out the posse they'll send out all the creator amber alert they'll do anything if the man has gone uh, with the children but with the woman no it's fine especially if you uh, have the protection of justice donning you now the justice donning you has been found not by me not only by me by another city councilor you know by another people they've seen him going and catching crows with the police you know so we have no hope 
from neither justice, neither from the police, neither from the legal aid, neither from the lawyers, neither from any kind of society. There's nothing over here but freaking hate and a projection of private agendas and stuff in your face with, you know, pushing your own mandate. And the only thing is, oh, let's shut him up. Let's put him for, uh, like, put him away. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, look at the way he behaves. Look at the behavior of the uh, prison railway. How would you behave, sir, if your children are taken away from you? How would you behave if your children are abducted from you and you are you are uh, taken away from you? And uh, how would you behave if you have killed my mother? You motherfuckers have killed my mother. Now this justice good man, uh, the, uh, because of the contempt motion. Now the contempt motion that I bring forth is, what's this contempt motion? It's just because I did not bring forth the, 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 the cops as uh, the, I was not, I was not picking up on the clue of the justice right in way he said I'm mean, not going to have like any uh, witnesses. Like I should have called the witnesses. I should have called that son of a bitch. What's his name? What's his name? Yeah, it's a block. But uh, the, the couple of uh, uh, cops that I should have brought to the to the contempt uh, motion, where they would be very clear, clear as daylight. Like, you know, the pinning the elephant. You know, pinning the elephant, and the, they would clearly see that this woman's in contempt. This woman in contempt and hateful behavior. You have not allowed my children, and you have not allowed our grandchildren to attend the funeral of a woman who you have killed. You have killed my mother. You are a stakeholder in the death of my mother. You, you, and you, and you, all you justices are stakeholders in the death of my mother. You have killed my mother, not only killed my mother, but adding insult to injury and hate to injury. You have refused to allow my children. You are five minutes away. They are actually five freaking minutes away from the local cemetery, yet you have not allowed my children to attend the funeral of the woman you have killed. You have not allowed my children the, the privilege, the right, the basic human right to attend the grandmother's funeral, the very person who have you killed. You know, it's that woman bled to death, uh, broke both hips, lost blood, bleeding from her boob, and I have to hold that boob, you know, with my naked hands, with the choice. Either she bleeds to death, 